Let's start with the definition of birefringence. It can be said that with the occurrence of two or more light velocities in an molecularly ordered material depending on the direction of propagation. This can be represented using simple models of the chemical composition of materials. In this first case of an anisotropic material, we have these arrays of chiron atoms with covalent bonds. We can say that light velocity in direction 1 is lower than that in direction 2. This is because light interacts with the electrons in the material. In this case, the covalent bonds create an electric field that is higher in direction 1 than in direction 2. So we can say that light velocity in direction 1 is lower than that in direction 2 and that the refractive index in direction 1 is higher than that in direction 2. This is a different situation compared to that of an isotropic material. In this case, in either direction, we have the same electric fields and thus the same velocities and the same refractive indexes. There is another prerequisite for presenting birefringence. This is related to the distance of two molecules. Let's say we have here molecule A and molecule B separated by a given distance D. So, how far they can be? We can say that, at least in one dimension, they can be far up to 20% of the wavelength of light used. When we are in an optical microscope, we are using white light, the mean wavelength is of 550 nanometers. This multiplied by 20% gives our answer 110 nanometers. This is our limit. We can now define the types of birefringence. We have the intrinsic birefringence related to the chemical bonds in the material. We have formed birefringence from microscopic porous objects in a medium with a different refractive index. And we have two types of birefringence created by moving stream fluid and mechanical stress. To conclude with the types of birefringence in the enamel, we have three contents, the mineral, the organic, and water. The mineral content presents intrinsic birefringence. The organic content presents also and intrinsic birefringence, and the water content presents form birefringence. Form birefringence can also be contributed by the organic content. In the next video, we are going to explain more about this.